What's up, fellas? So today we're gonna have some real talk. Uh, I had a loyal patient supporter wanted me to talk about racism, all right? And what aspect um, has it had an impact on my life? Um, guys, as you guys know, I'm from Alabama. Probably the biggest. Well, I don't know. I think Mississippi might be the most racist, right? Alabama, right there, a close second behind. I think Mississippi. Cause uh, in Mississippi they still do the little rebel flag, and then you know, and I, and I ain't gonna say Alabama don't got no rebel flags, but in Mississippi it's like if I, I went to Mississippi one time, uh, Philadelphia, Mississippi to go uh, to the casino, and I mean it's just everywhere. The Confederate flag is everywhere. All right, I ain't gonna sit here and act like nobody in Alabama got a Confederate flag on their car and nothing like that. But you see it, see it sparingly. You go to Mississippi, it's everywhere. It's all on the billboards. It's all at the gas stations. When you go to the gas stations, right there, the little, the little uh, Confederate flags and shit. Just a racist ass state. And they'll say, oh, it's state pride. Oh, get the fuck out of here. We know what that symbolizes. You hate fucking black people. We know what that fucking means. You don't care about no goddamn state flag. And don't nobody else in the country walk around carrying a state flag with Mississippi. They love their state flag so much that they, oh, this is my state flag. Yeah, goddamn motherfucker don't care about their state flag. Most of you motherfuckers watching this shit right now don't even know what your state flag look like. Because you, you don't really give a shit. The only thing you care about is the American flag. Mississippi and some people in Alabama seem to only be the ones that could care about the state flag. Uh, or and, and that, ain't, that ain't Mississippi actually state flag. That's actually a flag of the South. So when the South was separate from the Union... They had their little flag, and America had their flag, and the South had their little Confederate flag. That's what that shit about. So they letting you know, motherfucker, we was down with that Confederate bullshit. But anyway, getting past that shit, guys. Uh, racism really hasn't impacted my life all that much. Um, and, and, and I'm going I'm, I'm to take this from a black perspective, right? I'm not white or Chinese. I can't speak on up those aspects, which I can speak a little bit about the white people, uh, particularly my clients who was mostly Jewish, but uh, which they always stuck together. Uh, with black people, guys, your own people are going to be your biggest detractors. Your own people, the same people your color. Don't worry about Donald Trump. Donald Trump ain't worried about your little ass. Donald Trump ain't sitting around thinking about, oh, let me see, how can I hold Tyrone or Pookie back in the, Donald Trump ain't worried about your ass The, the dude around the corner He is the dude in, The same dude in your, in, your, in your area Yeah Willie Little Willie around the street Yeah He gonna hold you back He gonna do more harm to you Than Donald Trump would ever do I'm gonna tell you that shit right now Alright Your own kind I've seen more Profiling And more my own kind has tried to pull me down more than any Republican, Donald Trump, combined. Okay, guys? I'm going to let you know that shit right off the bat. Listen, I was living in Harlem, okay? I'm, and I'm speaking from the pro profiling aspect right now. I'm living in Harlem, and I worked in Manhattan, okay? When I walk in Harlem... Black people would stop and let me pass faster than the white people in Manhattan would. So your own kind, if you're watching this right now and you're a young black male, your own kind is going to profile you more than white people. When I'm in Harlem, they will literally, I'm walking behind, like, you know, just a normal person walking behind them. They'll stop and let you pass like you finna mug them or something, like you finna rob them. Then... Me walking in Manhattan behind white people. You will get more profile from your own kind. You're going to get, you're going to, as far as your career trajectory, your own people are going to try to pull you down more than fucking the white man is. I'm going to tell you that shit right now. If you, once you guys start exhibiting some success, you better get the hell out the hood. I'm going to tell you that shit right now. As soon as you get a new car, start addressing a little better, you better get the hell up out of there. Because if you stay there, some hater is probably going to put a bullet in your fucking head. 
I am telling you that shit right now. Black people have the biggest crab in a barrel mentality that I've ever seen. Now, if you're a little guy and you're doing a little something, you ain't gonna, you know, you ain't gonna really get no hate. It's when you start doing great fucking things. You start making the six figures. You you get that new Mercedes. You start dressing a little bit better. Here come the jealousy. Donald Trump ain't worried about your little ass. Mitch McConnell ain't worried about your little ass. Ain't no Republican in, uh, on the state capitol worried about your little ass. Pookie is. Lil Willie is. So that's the thing on that, guys. The next thing I want to talk about, guys, is when, when you... Let, let me say this right here, guys. You can do anything you want to do. I am speaking from personal life experience. Regardless of what your background or where you coming from, if you're willing to put in the work, you can make and do whatever the fuck you want to do. Nobody, no white person, no nothing can stop you. Will you might have to be better than some white people to get some things? Absolutely. I won't act like that shit don't exist. Of course it still exists. Just like women, women uh, get a, a, a bad hand sometimes in jobs because they got they are female. So we all know that it does exist in that. So you might have to be better. President Obama could never get away with the shit Donald Trump doing. We all know that. We if if if, if, if President if Obama was um, carrying on and acting like Donald Trump and talking about some, you know, my power is complete and I, you, you all know he couldn't get away with that. So I don't want to act like, you know, it, there isn't a double standard because it is a double standard. We all know that. And I, I won't shit y'all guys and act like it is. What I'm telling you is you can overcome it. You might have to work a little harder, but you might have to fucking come. Uh, that type of racism and shit is never going to go away in America. It's too deep. It's too much of a boiling pot. It's never going to go away. So stop acting like it is. Now, for me, training, having Jewish clients and training them and shit, and I, I won't say like this goes on everywhere. I'm just going to, like I, everything I do, guys, I just speak from my experience. I don't know what the fuck it is in no way else. I'm just speaking from my experience. From the Jews I train, they help each other. That's how they do. They help each other. And I've tried to do that on YouTube. Y'all guys seen me shout out several other dating coaches, uh, black dating coaches, trying to help them uplift them. Because I try to be against the crabs in a barrel mentality. I try to uplift to other guys. If y'all guys seen Kevin Garnett, he bought his high school uh, friends with him. LeBron James, he bought his, he empowered them. I shouted guys out and they started making way more money. That's how it's supposed to be. But y'all guys know that's not the norm. Y'all guys know normally what a person would do is he would try to tear down the other guys. Do y'all guys understand that? But I'm not on that. I feel like it's enough to eat for everybody. And to, and to the credit, to the credit of the guys who support me, I actually started getting more pay, Patreons helping you know the other guys out. When actually, I thought it might take away from my patrons because you shout other guys out. In actuality, it helped me, which let me know that guys like that. Some of you guys actually like when they see a guy trying to help other guys out. So that I was proud of you guys for that because my patrons actually started going up when I shouted guys up, not down. Which was to my dismay. And the reason why I didn't care if it went up or down or whatever. I didn't really give a fuck. Because I'm pretty straight. So I'm not really concerned with what I lose a patron here. That that was no... I didn't, I didn't really give a shit. You know, I'm already straight. I saved my money. I'm pretty frugal. I'm still doing fucking uh, these videos and t-shirts for God, for God's sake. Y'all ain't seeing me start doing these videos and our money suits and all that other bullshit trying to you know and show y'all guys oh i'm so successful i don't give a fuck about it i'm gonna stay doing these motherfuckers and these black tees i ain't got nothing to prove to no fucking body same fucking earrings okay guys but getting back on topic the segregation and shit in america when i was in school when i was in our uh, high school they would pass around these well junior high school right for, for you to go to junior so elementary and junior high school to go to high school or middle school they will pass us, and this is in Alabama, by the way. 
they will pass us around these papers, the M and M papers, the majority and minority papers. And basically, what those papers were was was trying to show you the black schools and the white schools. So it was a, in a way, it was legal segregation. That's what it, they was. They couldn't make you go to a black school. But they was trying to point you in that direction. And so what they would do is they would put all the black schools on one side and then they would put all the white schools on one side. And that way, you know, if you go here, it's going to be white. So they want you to keep your black ass over here in your black session. So it was in a way y'all guys know they got done away with uh, segregation in the 60s and shit. And so a way to keep it going without saying keeping it going was... They started doing the major majority and minority shit, okay? But as y'all guys know, most of the places is this a black session. This people are off to themselves, all right? White people live over here. Black people live over here. Of course, you're going to have a small amount of people that influx with the other group. But by and large, it's going to be mostly this the black area, this the white area, all right? Now, I know we got... Uh, everything uh, is getting mixed together now and uh, so I know that that is changing shit because now a lot of areas of um, white people are moving in with black people and shit like that into the black areas but so that but all that done it doing is raising the price and pushing black people somewhere else so that's going to keep going on. So it's imperative for you guys to make sure you're being successful because that shit is going to keep fucking um, going on. That's not going on well. So you guys need to make sure that you stay on your fucking purpose, right? Because now everything is getting mixed together. But getting back to my point, guys, is stop stop this, the white man, this, the, the, that. Your own kind has more of an impact on you than any white person ever will. And you guys would just have to see that. Now, for the black people, for the white people that stereotype us, then and, and, and this goes on with us too. We profile our own type, our own kind, because you watch the news and you see Pookie and Ray Ray shooting up every fucking thing. So when you say profile by white people, well, we profile too. When I see a couple of knuckleheads walk some coming somewhere or something, I'm looking at them too. Now they might be good guys, but you profile them just because you watch the news and you see nothing but black people seem to be doing crime or uh, violent crimes. Okay, but they just had a shooting at the fucking mall, and they said it was like the third one this year or some shit. I you know I just got to Atlanta. I'm paying that much attention to it, and they said it's like the third shooting. Well. It, that's who doing that who doing shit like that this is what causes people to profile us so one bad apple spoils the bunch that's the way it go we over here making all these female nature videos it's good women out there right it's good it's, it's some good women out there you got four billion women in the fucking world you mean to tell me every one of them goddamn trash no it's good women out there a few bad apples spoil the bunch so what we walk around with now? All women are like that. When y'all know flat out goddamn real, there's four billion women in the world. It's got to be at least one good one. But a few bad apples spoil the fucking bunch. That's the way it fucking works, guys. So when Lil Pookie and Ray Ray shoot shit up at the mall and shit like that, this is what makes it bad for the fucking good people. I heard, um, was it Chris Rock say a long time ago, there's a war going on. We got black people and we got ends y'all know what the ends is okay and he said the ends got to go i try not i try not to say that fucking word y'all guys know every now and then i'll slip up in it when i'm hot and i just fucking say it i try not to fucking say it uh because i don't want the young guys over here fucking they they if i say it they're gonna be saying it. so i try not to fucking say it but uh the ends have to go so we get lumped in the good hard working blacks get lumped in with the ends that's the way it fucking works and we do it too. If you're a good, hardworking guy on your fucking purpose and shit like this here, and you at a fucking party, and you see a couple knuckleheads gonna come in, come in, you gonna start profiling their ass too. You gonna have your eyes right on them. Why? Because you just saw some little knuckleheads at the fucking mall. Now, that's not to excuse 
profiling, I'm just letting you know why it exists. The same way we profile women. Y'all got these awards that that's the same thing. So you pretty much lump every fucking woman the same way other races are lump all fucking blacks. That's just the way it is. So the thing is, the, the, the point of me saying all that, guys, is that's always going to exist because we always going to have fucking knuckleheads. So that means that you going to continue having to work harder to be better because of those knuckleheads. So even when the knuckleheads aren't even trying to cause harm to you, they still causing harm to you. Even when they not pulling the gun, they still bringing harm your fucking way. Because now they cause you to get stereotyped. All right, guys. So that's my point on racism, guys. Can't nobody hold you down but you and your own kind. You got to work 10 times as fucking hard. It don't fucking matter. The only person that's really holding you back is you. Even Pookie and Ray Ray ain't doing it. They can hate. And they can cause you to get uh, stereotyped and profile. But at the end of the day, it's on you. Okay, guys? So that's that's my thoughts on racism, guys. Yes, it's, it's, it's always going to be the America, America got too much fucking hatred in it. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Stay on your fucking purpose and you can overcome it, guys. All right? All right, guys. I'll get back with you guys.